Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to cover some of the settings that you may need to change in order to connect and run a battery from your Solus 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter. The same settings will apply to the 6 kilowatt Solus inverter and I'm sure most other Solus inverters. The battery I have connected to this inverter is a Seplus Mason vertical the version 3 BMS and it's a 15 kilowatt hour battery. Keep in mind that I am based in the Republic of Ireland and a setting that applies in my situation may be different to the setting that you may need to apply for your grid. Also keep in mind that this video will focus on charge and discharge times which may differ depending on the tariff you're on and when you want to charge and or discharge your battery. So there are only a couple of settings that you may want to change and I'm going to start by selecting the enter button. You're going to go straight down to advanced settings. All other settings are by default or as set by your installer. The password is 0010, so we'll select down, down, up for one, and we'll leave this at zero, so we'll just press enter. The first thing to notice is that whatever is selected is going to be light blue. We have select standard here already um, highlighted for us, so that's the first thing we're going to check. So we're going to select standard. The standard here that I have set for my grid is EN50549IE and that's the standard that's recommended for the Republic of Ireland. There are other options that you can select by pressing the up or down keys as you can see. ESB Micro is another Irish setting I believe and ESB Mini is an Irish, another Irish setting and there are many other settings here that you can go through but I'm going to leave mine on that setting there. Just go back up to make sure I am on the right one. Here we are. Okay, so I'm going to escape. Um, the next setting that we're going to look at, there are three settings on this menu. We've already gone into the select standard. Um, the other one we're going to want to check, which we leave to last, is the storage energy set. But we're also going to want to look at the baud rate. So let's just move to that. and select baud rate. The baud rate is a setting that you will find on your BMS in your battery. By default, the baud rate was set to about 9,600 on this inverter. The setting that I needed to change, um, I found on the BMS, the baud rate was 19,200. So I selected 19,200 on the inverter. You'll see that you're not changing it one digit at a time. I'll just show you here. We'll select the baud rate and as we go down, there's 9,600. That was the original default setting on this inverter and you can change it accordingly. So there's only three settings here and I'm leaving mine at 19,200. So let's escape there. I've made no changes, but to be safe, I'll just cancel and exit. The next menu that you're going to want to change is your storage energy set. So we'll just go in there. And let's just go down through this menu. So control parameter. In here, you'll see your backup supply. By default, this is enabled, but you will want to make sure that it is indeed enabled. And to change that, you press enter to go across to it. And you press up or down and it's enable or disable. So. We'll just enter there and escape. And I haven't made any change, but again, I'll just cancel. Battery select. This one is important. Now, as I said, I have a C plus Mason vertical. And for the C plus Mason vertical, AOBO is the recommended setting that I have been given. So I've changed it to AOBO. You might have one of these pre-built batteries such as the Wico. It's very popular here in Ireland. It's a 5.3 kilowatt hour battery that many installers uh, will include with the system. 
you can purchase these batteries yourself and connect them up yourself at a significant discount. But of course, your DIY batteries are going to be the best bang for your buck. There are lots of other battery settings that you can select here. But I'm going to leave mine. I'm just going to go back up to AOBO and leave it there. There we go. And I'll just escape. Meter set again is set by default. Uh, my meter set is on one phase or single phase electricity. You can change it to three phase or indeed off grid. Um, I'll just go back to one phase and exit there. Meter placement and CT direction is something you really shouldn't need to mess at. So I'll just exit here. That should be all set by default. The next settings are in this storage mode select, and these are arguably the most important. So we will go in here. You're going to select self use. If it's not already on self use, these are your options here. Off grid, do not select that. Self use is what you want. You're going to press enter and on. And then by default, it'll be time of use first. So time of use, you're going to select. Your default on optimal income is going to be uh, se uh, selected to off. You want to change that to run, or rather it's going to be on stop. You want to change it to run. Your default on the charge limit will be 90 amps. I've changed mine to be 95 and the discharge limit also 95 from 90. The really important ones here, if you want to charge your battery from the grid these are the settings that you're going to want to change for example you might have night rate electricity um, in my case my night rate electricity in the summertime is 11 p.m until 8 a.m the following morning or winter time is midnight until 9 a.m this is a 15 kilowatt hour battery that i have installed so if i am charging at five kilowatts it will charge in a three hour period so just to be safe i've selected mine to charge over a four hour period from 2 a.m until 6 a.m now it is important to note that the battery will not discharge um, any power during this time so you will be drawing power from the grid so it's a good idea to select a, um, a time where you're sure the battery will be fully charged um, but you don't want to select any longer than that. So you wouldn't want to select, for example, midnight to 8 a.m. because then you're going to be completely drawing everything from the grid. Discharge time. If you select the discharge time, your battery is going to empty as quickly as it possibly can. In my case, it will empty at five kilowatt power speeds. Uh, so over a three hour period, my battery would be fully depleted. The reason why I have a discharge time set here is more experimental than anything else. I've set it from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. So anything that I have left in the battery from the solar of that day, it will dump into the grid. So I will dump approximately five kilowatt hours uh, into the grid and be paid for that. My battery will then start to charge from 2 a.m. until 6 a.m. You can set up to three charge timers and three discharge timers. This would be useful if you're using a smart meter and you're on a smart rate. So for example, um, a lot of tariffs will have a really, really low rate from 2 a.m. until 4 or 5 a.m. where the rate is very, very low. So a typical night rate is about 15 cent per kilowatt hour here in June 2024. But you can get as low and in some cases lower uh, five cents uh, per unit per kilowatt hour. You will also have extremely high uh, rates at let's say 5 p.m. to 7 or 8 p.m. where energy is very expensive and what you can do is you can discharge so you can dump your battery to the grid at those times and you can potentially uh, make a profit or at least offset what you're using for the rest of the day. So I've just set one charge and one discharge timer here. That's it. Uh, once you select X, um, escape, it will ask you to save and send as I've made no changes here. I'm just going to cancel and exit. 
The next menu is charging from grid. And all you're going to do here is you're going to allow charging from grid. So make sure that's highlighted light blue and select allow. So now you'll be able to charge from the grid. That's all of the settings that you'll need to change. You're just going to escape out to the home menu, out to the home page rather. As you can see here, it's a pretty dull day. It's the 29th of June. It's miserable and raining outside. It's um, 10 to 4 in the afternoon and I'm only generating uh, just less than 0.8 kilowatts. The house thankfully is only using 0.4 uh, or 0.5 kilowatts. I have nothing going to the grid and I have nothing coming off the grid and the excess is going into my battery which is at 45% at the moment. So guys I hope this video has been useful. Thanks for watching.